Hello and welcome to this video about balance moments for physics GCSE. So this is the same setup from the uh, video on moments I showed you. I've got my pivot in the middle here, I've got my ruler which is my balance and I'm just placing a weight on one end and placing a weight on the other end. And if I want to get this balanced, I have to have exactly the same distance between the two weights. The weights weigh exactly the same amount. So we don't save distance between them and it is now balanced. So this is that situation again, we have a weight on either end and it is balanced. Now if I move one of the weights closer into the middle it becomes unbalanced and what I have to do to get it to balance up again is to double the amount of weight because I have halved the distance. So here I've moved the other way into the middle and what I need to do is to keep moving the weight on the right in until it is the same distance as the other one and that's the only way it's going to balance up. So this section is only for students doing the higher tier and you need to know that if we want a balanced moment, that's something that's not moving, our anti clockwise has to equal our clockwise moment which means this bit this is the one going clockwise has to equal this one which is going anti-clockwise uh, so let's have a little look at some of the maths here uh, a sample question you could get would be to work out this distance here and if we say this distance is two meters and this uh, force is five newtons this force let's say it's ten newtons we would have to try and work out what this distance here at X is so the equation that we're going to be using is exactly the same one we used in the last video moment equals force times distance our, our moment is in newton meters our force is in newtons and our distance is in meters. So if we work it out for the left hand side first of all, our force is five newtons, our distance is two meters and that equals 10. So we know on the right hand side the moment has to equal 10. We don't know what the distance is but we know the uh, force is 10. So times by something so the way we do that is take this one over to the other side. So we now have 10, 10 divided by 10 equals 1. So this distance here has to be 1 metre. Now you might see a question like this in the exam. Looks really horrible and scary but it's exactly the same. You need to have your anti-clockwise same as your, or is that the wrong way around? Yeah. You need to have your anti-clockwise the same as your clockwise, or whatever way around they go. These two have to be equal. So say we want to find out, um, uh, say we want to find out this weight here, again we use this equation, moment equals force times distance with this in newton meters this in newtons and this one in meters um, let's say the force pulling up is going to be five newtons let's say this distance here is going to be three meters this distance here is going to be six meters so if we work out this side first of all we have five newtons times 6 metres equals 30 newton metres for our moment. Then let's work up this side. We know our moment has to be 30 newton metres. Our distance is 3 metres. And we need to work out what X is. Just made these numbers on the spot, but it's worked out very conveniently. So we do 30 divided by 3, which means... The force pushing down there has to be 10 newtons.
Oh, put some right units in there. Newtons. Never forget to write your units in.